Så den handlar, den, boken handlar om vad som ska vad som um, hände efter kriget alltså. Efter kriget. Ja. Kom, till 63. Det som du själv har. Till 63. Till 63. Varför till 63? Man måste stänga av någon gång. Ja, men var 63 var det då du själv började aktivt? Nej då. Nej. Det var eh, Robert Trash som fick priset i Venedig. Och vi tyckte att det var lika bra som något annat. Stänga av det Då var fasen över på något sätt. Nej, det var väl det att... Eh, Europeerna hade förstått att någonting hände i USA. Och de gav av ett pris till, till en amerikan. Mm-hmm. Så när Rauschenberg fick sitt pris i Venedig mm-hmm. så blev det liksom en... Det kändes som en stor, en stor seger alltså för... Ja, det tror jag inte. Det var bara det. Mm. Det var ett faktum. Mm. <laughs> Men var det inte en blandning med, med, mellan Europa och Amerika som fanns? Jag menar, du, du, du är europe du sa fanns liksom och, och så. Jo visst, men det måste ju vara någon annan som skriver den historien. Det går ju, kan jag ju inte berätta själv. Om dig själv? Nej. Är det någon som håller på med det att skriva den historien? Nej, det tror jag inte. Nej. Därför att det var, det var ju hela tiden en kor- korrespondens. Jag, vad jag förstått så, och det var så jag hörde talas om dig först, jag tänkte att det här var ju killen som som plockade hit hela den, den amerikanska konsten jo, som jag såg som grabb, du vet, när han rörde sig konst och så. genom Pontus alltså. Ja, som är din gamla kompis från Teknis. Yes. Ja. ja det är alla från blandare. Var ni ihop i blandaren där alltså? Nej, han... Det var han som... Jag vet inte hur det fungerade. Jag gick ju, jag hade ju den en tekniker som vandrade över till vad heter det? Amerika, nej. Nej, som vandrade över till Konsten? Nej, till äh, vad heter det? Akademin där? Ja. Ah, ja, ja. Och han... Eh, han var ju liksom... Han var ju också inblandad med teknis. Och vi, vi kände ju varandra där igen. Mm. Så när jag kom över hit så skrev han till, ju till mig och frågade mm. om jag ville hjälpa honom med det och det. Mm. Han gick inte på tekniskt själv va? Jag tror inte det. Han var väl han var journalist. Ja. Men han var med i den där blanda redaktionen. Ja just det. Blandaren det är egentligen den enda svenska dadda <här> Nej, men hur ser, man skulle nästan kunna säga det. De ser sig säkert inte så. Jag vet inte hur de ser sig. Så det var de, via, via teknik som du kom till som, som Pontus kom in i bilden så att säga. Ja, jag hade ju... Jag måste ju själv sluta på teknik. Mm. Du disputerade där eller du disputerade i... Ja, jag fick min degree där på Electrical Engineering under Hannes Alvén. Mm. Ja. Så där 
Gudjan film och som Hannes Salvén var väldigt imponerad av. Mm. Hannes Alvén, han, vad han höll på då att skriva om de här sakerna som den stora datamaskinen och sånt va? Ja just det. Han, han var det nästan... Det är en jättefin bok. Var det, var, 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 det, var, det, var det då ungefär liksom som han började få de här idéerna att skriva om detta alltså? Ja det vet det var nog tidigare. Mm. Men med dedikation i den stora datamaskinen. Ja. Den är ju väldigt snäll av honom mm. som jag fick. Mm. Så det fanns intresse för på tekniskt för, för den moderna konsten på den tiden alltså? Ja, oh, det vet jag inte. Det ska man nog inte säga. <laughs> ja, det var ju så fall blandare ja. som bestod av Pontus alltså Nordenström sett andra skolor som har skaffat ett sånt utrymme att göra finns det idag den här typen av utrymme att göra grejer ja det now I think that they would like to do it they, they, there is a, there seems to be an interest they would like to revive a thing like that at um, technical people school. will always like to mm. revive things that are positive mm. Mm. and uh, from history to raise money for it and mm. mm. 
does it take very much energy to connect the worlds, to connect the world of technology with the world of of art, to to bridge because you were you were a kind of bridge between. That's how the story is told. You have to be either an engineer or an artist, and to become an engineer takes a lot of energy, and to become an artist takes a lot of energy. Mm -hmm. And if you like it, they don't mix. An artist is an artist, and an engineer is an engineer. And there is no way you can teach them to be the same thing, or teach them mm -hmm. to be like overlapping. Mm -hmm. comes out of the the spirit or environment if you like mm. It seems like the one of the reasons that we are here now in New York is that um, technology, that is Ericsson, has, has a longing for getting in touch with this force, the art, uh, and they, they they long to do that and they want to find ways. You know. Well, why didn't they when I was banging in their door? Uh -huh. Frustrated to mm. hell. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they just said that. Uh, <laughs> please. Uh, I'm sorry? Wait, or I'm please sorry. Uh, go away. Mm. content today or Do you think that that they are right? 
that they that the art can help them with programming <laughs> or that the artists want to help them with programming that's a question of the future mm. Precisely, uh, the artist may find it uh, revolting or uninteresting or mm -hmm. good. support it's not there it comes too late or all the time maybe it's always come too late so speak, huh? they wake up a generation later or something that's true mm -hmm. but uh, now the kind of or the nature interest that the industry has in the art mm -hmm. is not the same as uh, half a year ago or as in itself possibility for industry and art to meet. That's impossible. <laughs> there is no reason they should and there is no
but these meetings there's no reason for otherwise for industry to meet the art but the the the, the meetings that occur without any reason that sort of are completely nonsense playful In a sense, you have been a split, split between these two worlds. Then yes, or yourself, absolutely. How did that feel? on your on your on your spare time or did you do it uh, in your did you combine art and engineering your work as well in my spare time of course mm. and in the work uh, it was then easy mm. but nobody was interested in the work mm -hmm. nobody got that the stuff that you did in your work <laughs> nobody paid attention to what you did for for um, for the laboratories when you worked here in in the states for instance uh, yes mm. the artists didn't were not interested in that Should they be? <laughs> I made a couple of inventions as a result of being involved in the arts. <laughs> That's reason enough to be interested. They were not. Everybody made inventions, make inventions. Uh -huh. Every Wednesday morning when the patent attorney comes around. Mm. And that's the usual. Mm -hmm. And he says, do you have something for me? <laughs> and you 
brush to your desk and you figure out something <laughs> and you give it to them. <laughs> hmm. But the, that came out in a sense of, of your your work. It's out of your life. Yeah. <laughs> your life. Mm. And your life is not one thing. Mm. My life is a schizophrenic. Uh, uh, what? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I'm not an artist, and I've never been an artist. You don't want to be. You you don't want to be an artist. We could we could make you an artist. You are sort of. <laughs> well, you can do it. Uh -huh. but you I can. Not an uh -huh. artist. Mm -hmm. I am not an artist. How do you know that you're not an artist? You, you saying that <laughs> I, I know that I'm not an artist. Mm -hmm. but other people can make me an artist mm -hmm. if they want, but that's mm -hmm. that sounds unreal mm -hmm. and uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Because I have friends who are artists. Mm -hmm. And I still want to talk to them. I still want to talk to Jasper Johns mm. and Robert Rashford and so on. Mm. And then Andy Orwell when he was alive. Mm. And I know they are artists. Mm -hmm. And they've been false through. Mm -hmm. I know, I knew he was an artist. Immediately. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that's... Uh, mm -hmm. That makes a difference. Did he talk to you because he knew you were an engineer, was a scientist? Oh, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. I'm sure he did. Mm -hmm. Because uh, he had such an enormous brain. Mm -hmm. That he accepted everything. Mm -hmm. He wanted to accept everything, every possible mm -hmm. information there was. Mm -hmm. And whatever I had to give him, I did, of course. Mm -hmm. Even in terms of the scientific knowledge, I he was had an interest in theory and you know, everything. <laughs> Not really. Mm -hmm. Not really. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's less interested in theory than at work. Mm -hmm. What about uh, the you? Uh, Theory in physics mm -hmm. is very complicated, but Avin wouldn't be interested in that. What about all these philosophers that have come up the la last, you know, 15 years, 20 years? <laughs> what can I do except read the two pages? I have most of them. Uh, and they speak about art, they say. Most of them, I say, fuck you. Mm. <laughs> because? Well, they, they don't know what they're talking about. Mm. Clavel is maybe interesting. Mm. Danto. Uh,
can very well take care of herself. Mm -hmm. So they are. But Clavel is mm -hmm. very interesting. Mm -hmm. But you mean like escape from yourself, so the thing to do is to, you have to work with yourself, that's what you've got to do, not escape it. That's the, the point. yourself Somebody has exploded a machine out there, mm -hmm. and it feels full of gasoline. Mm -hmm. And my head aches. <laughs> hmm. I think it's the weather too, because it's. Ericsson, if Ericsson uh, pays for your trip uh -huh. and to do this, uh -huh. I say uh, one up to Ericsson. We li really tried to get help from Ericsson. Uh, I don't know, mm. ten, twenty. I don't know what we have done in the intervening 10 or 20 years that can possibly have any interest for Ericsson. Mm -hmm. I think that uh, what we did has something to do with closer to reality. <laughs> I don't know. Hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. 
were there no corporations, other corporations interested that sort of said, okay, let's do it at the time? Oh, yes. We, we had help from Atlantic Richfield. Our, our I don't remember. There, there were others. Some, some that helped. Oh yeah. Hmm. Basically, American corporations, or yes. Hmm. What about the European ones? The Europeans are, are they slow? Are they? Or any any businesses helping out? There was no Volvo thing or. No. Uh -huh. It is obviously not. Not one doesn't say. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, in the early days, definitely. You're speaking about. Uh, in the sixties. Mm -hmm. When the AT first started. Mm -hmm. And that is which project are you talking about now? The just in general when the AT mm -hmm. started. Mm -hmm. um. well, of course, AT and T. AT and T, yes. Mm. And, uh, trying to see where. And then labor was very, uh, the AFL-CIO, Lane AFL Kirkland, mm -hmm. who later became head of the AFL-CIO, was mm -hmm. very supportive. And Ted Ke Theodore Keel, mm -hmm. a, a, a lawyer and a so labor mediator. Really mainly individuals. Mm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, once you found those individuals, they led to other people. Mm. It wasn't as if uh, corporations mm. became interested. Mm. Mm. It was more a matter of finding individuals. Mm. Mm. Even so, in the endowments, mm. Mm. Uh, in the national endowment for the arts. And that. Um, that kind of pattern probably is the same same today, I imagine, that you have to find the people interested. And of course people have to be interested, how could it work otherwise? But Yes. Mm. Yes, mainly because it involves art. Mm. And everybody in the world has its own opinion about what art is. And you can't uh, uh, that's where, the, in a sense, perhaps, I don't know, that's what the philosophers claim to do, telling you that, well, you have your own opinion, but you know, art is, as a matter of fact, something which is common to us all. <laughs> don't believe that. <laughs> yes, but uh -huh. 
Art is what the artists do, right? Yeah, 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 of course, yeah. The artist defines art. Yeah, yeah. So you, uh, I mean, the first thing when I began EAT was to define art. Mm -hmm. That is what the artists were doing. Mm. And nobody else had anything to do with it. Mm. Mm. So the engineers were there to support the artists, mm. to give the artists the support structure. Mm. But this is, th when, when you go into specific cases, this is not as easy because sometimes you, of course, you run into problems where the artist may have to change some of his ideas to make it possible, technical wise, te technology wise. Especially. Change whose ideas? His own, the artist's. The artist has to say, well, we can do it that way instead, because it do it, you know. But that's normal, you see, that's uh -huh. where the collaboration comes in. Uh -huh. If the artist wants to, to change his mind or change his idea, mm -hmm. then he can do so. But uh, it's up to him. But... Uh, well, the story of Oracle, which it, it, how that evolved. How did Bob want it when he, when he first approached you? I don't remember. Paintings? Yeah. What was that piece? Uh, that what started as the idea, well, didn't it start as the idea of Bob wanted five paintings that had uh, uh, sound that the that the viewer could control, and then it ended up being the. And then you worked on the different, uh, and then it became sculpture. Mm -hmm. You know the piece Oracle. Mm -hmm. You see, this is a, a normal evolution. When the artists and the engineers meet, mm. they, they uh, change their ideas. Mm -hmm. The two of them change their ideas. But that seems extremely interesting for both. Of course. Of course, you're right. Except the fact.